Thanks for watching this Yamaha Rivage PM Vlog. We're working through the new features added to version 5. So this time we're focusing on wireless microphone system monitoring and control. Devices from Sennheiser, Shure and Sony have been compatible with Yamaha's CL and QL consoles for a while. So now the same features have been added to the Rivage PM range of mixing systems. These compatible wireless mic systems all have their own networked monitoring software and protocol. But rather than have an additional computer and screen in your mixing location, now you can do it all from the console's touchscreens. Directly in the overview, or the selected channel view, you can see the RF level, battery status and input gain. Go one step deeper and you find mute status and signal quality meter if your RF device supports it. This is very useful and reassuring information. Let me show you how to get it set up. Firstly, prepare your network. All the communication is through the Dante network, so you need a HY144D card with or without SRC in your Rivage PM DSP engine, any slot. Connect all the device's Dante ports to the same network and check all their IP addresses are in the same range or subnet. Start with the console. Open the setup screen, then system config. Select the HY slot you're using for Dante. Then open the network window. Here, the default and easiest setting is auto DHCP. Using this means you don't have to set any IP addresses manually. They will be assigned automatically. All the Sennheiser, Shure and Sony systems have the same choice in their own setup menus, but they will also need a Yamaha ID number to be set, and each device should use a unique number. For Sennheiser, look in the system menu, scroll to network and select auto. Press save and return to the system menu. Now select Yamaha ID and choose a number. Next, open the Dante settings and set the mode to either through or redundant. In this case, through is the same Dante mode as Yamaha's daisy chain. Also check the Dante network setting is set to auto unless you have a specific reason for using a static IP address. With Sure systems, you can control devices in their Axiant, ULXD and QLXD ranges. Let's see how to work with the most recent Axiant Digital AD4D. Open the Device Configuration menu, find Network Configuration and press Setup. Choose either switched or redundant depending on your Dante network environment. In the Sure control window, check that automatic mode is set. Same in the Dante primary menu. Why is this setting made twice? Well, it's actually once for the IP address used by Dante for audio and once for the IP address used to control and monitor the device. The same physical network port is used for these two tasks with two different IP addresses. And it's the same situation with the console. One IP address for Dante, another for device remote control and monitoring. Then find the device audio menu, select Dante names, then Dante device name. Set the mode to Yamaha and choose a different Y0 number for each device. It's a similar setup with Sony DWR R03D. Press Utility, open the Network menu and set the Network mode to either Switched or Redundant. Though remember that Device Control doesn't work through the secondary network but only through the primary. 
scroll to Dante ID and set the mode to Yamaha ID and choose a unique number for each unit. Though the number can be the same as an ID used for a console or RIO unit, it must be unique among devices of the same kind. Find the receiver IP settings in the network menu and set the IP mode to auto. Do the same for the Dante main IP. Only use static IP addresses if you really know what you're doing. Reboot the device if you are asked to. Now all our equipment is configured, let's see how to start monitoring them on the console. Back in the setup screen and system config, open the HY slot page for the correct Dante card. Each card can provide control for up to 24 devices, and the console can control 48 Dante devices totally if two or more cards are installed. However, note that sure devices are limited to 24 in number and must be mounted on the HY Dante card in the lowest numbered slot. Touch a blank I.O. rack and open the online device list. Now you should see all the compatible devices. If they include a blue name, they are ready to be controlled. Select the device, it will be discovered and become controllable. Touch the I.O. rack to access its parameters. To get these parameters on the channel strips, just make a Dante patch and the controls will follow the patch to the correct channels. Note that some devices, such as Shure AD4Q and Sony DWR-R03D, both include transmitter gain controls, which have the advantage of adjusting the signal level before it's sent through the air, so you can get better optimization of signal to noise. Some sure devices can be controlled that don't support Dante, such as QLXD or AXT400. In that case, use port assign in the I.O. device window to enable the controls to appear in the channel view, following the input patch. Notice that although these settings are visible and controllable, they do not get stored in the scene memories, so can only be adjusted manually. Even so, it's going to help a lot with your system monitoring when you only have a small space to work in or have a small technical team to manage the system. If you want to change levels by scene recall, use the channel's digital gain function. Explore Yamaha's website and YouTube channel for more videos about Rivage PM systems, helping you make the most of all the new and unique features. See you again next time.